Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It is September the 7th and we're looking at Proverbs chapter 4 and 5. Now my password is in verse 7 but let's read the um, passage up to that. Verse 1, Hear ye children the instruction of a father and attend to no understanding for I give you good doctrine. Forsake not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments and live. So this is beautiful instruction. This is actually what Israel was taught in the old covenant. This is what the parents taught their children. This is what the fathers taught their sons. This is what the kings taught their princes. And uh, it's all summarized in verse 4. He says, he taught me. He said, let your heart retain my words. Let your mind, is the word, retain my words. Keep my commandments and live. You see, under the old covenant, they had a human life. And that human life was a life based upon the old covenant. And in that old covenant, they had commandments to keep. And when they kept the commandments of the Lord, they lived. Now, there are lots of Christians that say, oh, of course, nobody ever really kept the commandments. <laughs> well, they did keep the commandments. You know, we don't have all these things about keeping the commandments uh, so that nobody can. They kept the commandments and they lived. And when they broke the commandments, as they no doubt did, then they had the sacrificial system, which was there ready and waiting for Israel to be restored unto the Lord their God. Now, verse 5 is lovely. He says get wisdom get understanding forget it not neither de neither decline from the words of my mouth forsake her not she shall preserve thee love her and she shall keep thee so he's taking wisdom and he's personificationing her into a person and he's saying wisdom is a beautiful person you need to get wisdom you need to love her look after her it's a very interesting thing you know that um, in all of this um, proverbs it's not about just knowledge it's not just about knowledge we often think that education is just about learning facts and figures but it's not that, you know, not really. Um, wisdom is the correct application of knowledge. A person can be very knowledgeable and very foolish. But a person that is wise may not need to be very knowledgeable about everything. It's just that that little bit of knowledge he does have is used wisely. And so he says, verse 7, my password. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Oh, I love that. He says, verse 8, Exalt her, and she will promote thee. She will bring thee to honour when thou dost embrace her. She will give thee thine head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened. When thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take hold of instruction, let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. He's saying this wisdom, you know, she's beautiful. You need to get wisdom. 
more than anything else because wisdom is the thing that will give you life let's go down to verse 19 he says the way of the wicked is as darkness they know not at what they stumble they know not at what they stumble verse 23 keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life verse 26 ponder the path of thy feet and let thy ways be established turn not uh, to the right hand or to the left remove thy foot from evil verse uh, 1 of chapter 5 my son attend unto my wisdom and bow thine ear to my understanding that thou mayest regard discretion and that thy lips may keep knowledge for the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb her mouth is smoother than oil but her end is bitter as wormwood sharp as a two-edged sword her feet go down to death her steps to hold of hell now that's a warning isn't it that's a terribly severe warning you see the father says to the son you need to look out for her because she will bring the end to your life her steps go down to the grave verse 9 lest thou give thine honour to others you see if you do listen to her then your honour will be given to others and your years will be given to the cruel strangers will fill your will be filled with your wealth and thy labours in the house of a stranger and you will mourn at last when thy flesh and thy body are consumed and say how have i hated instruction my heart has despised reproof and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers nor inclined mine ear to them that instructed me verse 18 he says rejoice with the wife of thy youth you see he's saying to him don't go after strange women stay with the wife that you married when you were young why wilt thou verse 20 my son be ravished with a strange woman and embrace the bosom of a stranger for the ways of a man are before the eyes of the Lord and he pondereth all his goings his own iniquities shall take the wicked himself and he shall be held with the courts with the cords of his sins he shall die without instruction and the great and in the greatness of his folly he shall go astray strangely this is exactly what happened to solomon this is exactly what happened to solomon he married many strange women oh they were honorable marriages no doubt but he married many strange women and they did leave him lead him astray so what an amazing education this book is it's the education book of the young men and the young women of israel well god bless you look great to speak to you look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow have a wonderful day bye for now